Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Racer Star RS30 Amp ESC from Banggood. Uh, this is the V2 and this is a Kikata clone so this should be pretty good. I've used this before and um, I had to use a low ESR capacitor with this guy but other than that it was just flying perfect so um, I'm expecting some noise better than the uh, MS series but um, not so good, but I mean it's good for the price. I th I think um, since they come around what uh, twelve dollars or fifteen dollars, no less. I think twelve dollars. But anyways, so this is rocking a BB2 chip, and now if you get in the new batches, I think they do remove the uh, the yeah there it is. They they remove the um, filter caps, so you can run DSHOT six hundred out of the box. And uh, looking at it here, this is a thirty amp ESC, and I think thirty five amp burst for a couple seconds. Uh, we get one tantalum capacitor which is good uh, this does reduce the high frequency noise and uh, it's always good to have the more the better always and how many capacitors do we have on this guy so i think we had four or three so we have i think five no four four capacitors we have four capacitors on this guy so that's good uh, let's double check no we have five so we got five capacitors and I wonder if the, this was supposed to be here or they removed it so I don't know what's up with this but anyways five is good five is better than nothing um, so let's put it on the bench and just start testing it Alright guys, so from the testing, I compared it with the Emacs Bullet, since they're in the same price category. So they're basically would be considered mid-range ESCs. Uh, we can call it that, I guess, mid to high, but it's on the low high. So uh, let's talk about the voltage spikes. Now the voltage spike for this guy was a 24 volt, which is very good. It's within the safe zone. The safe zone is 27 volts maximum. So the voltage spike is within the safe zone, which is very good. And the, the Emacs Bullets uh, voltage spike was 29.2. That's that's about that's above the safe zone, which is uh, 27 volts. It's fine, but I think if you exceed 33 volts, then you then you could expect damaging uh, components. So uh, this did very well in the voltage spike, and it, it is to be expected because it's the Kikada. It's a, I think it's a rebranded Kikada, so they call it the Kikada clone, the Sunrise. Now for voltage drop, this went down to 12 volts. Um, the lowest I got it was uh, 11.5 volts, but 12 volt was the average, so I'm going to stick to 12 volt on that. Um, the Emacs bullet dropped to 8 volts, which is very scary. So I think I think anything below 11.8 volts is the danger zone or the, the very bad zone. So this was within that zone. The Emacs bullet was at 8 volts, which is just uh, ridiculous, really. Um, uh, I, I don't know about the I don't know what Emacs is thinking to be honest. Um, anyways, so this is a good buy uh, for for its price category. It, it's it's good. It's 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 mid range. You're getting what you paid for here, and um, yeah, it's very good. You see, it's on my favorite quad to be honest uh, with that low ASR capacitor. So um, I've been flying it for a very long time now. Not a single problem. Once I thought I had a problem, but it turned out that I just. Uh, slice the signal and that's it I just soldered it back on everything back to normal so this has been reliable uh this is on the quad that i mostly fly most of the time it's the one i fly and enjoy the most so from my it, there is noise so and there is voltage uh the vtx blackouts with this i've had that problem so i can i can i can tell you that there is that problem for sure um however i did buy four of these because i knew they were good so um i didn't want to risk buying anything else really 
So these will be going on another build soon, and, and, and it is to be expected that it will need a low ESR capacitor with noisy motors. Now, I'm not saying all everything will have VTX blackouts now. For example, DYS fire motors are very, they're not as noisy, they're not that noisy. So any motor that has very strong magnets, that'll be very noisy and it'll have very harsh voltage spikes and voltage drops. So it'll be very demanding on the ESC, it needs the ESC to actually withstand that motor. So this one kind of withstands the Emax, I, I can say from experience. Uh, but you will need a low ESR capacitor, depending on your setup. I need it, so I put that there. The 12 volt regulator was just uh, getting basically turned off, so the VDX would just black out. Um, noise, th there there was some noise, but with that ESR capacitor, it's just completely gone. But this is good, uh, it's, it's a good one. It's reliable, it performs, um, it does need some tuning if you have a power hungry motor or a very noisy motor. But other than that, it's a good one. Uh, it's, it's reliable, it's durable. I still have yet to blow on one. So I like these um, from experience. So yeah, um, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Uh, I really hope it helps someone out there. And if you guys have any suggestions or any comments, just feel free to let me know. And that's it, guys. See ya. Take care. Happy flying.